Hello everybody, welcome to I Love Learning's YouTube channel. So today I'm going to cover P4 topics, science. This will be the animal life cycle topic. Okay, as you can see from my screen, I have summarized uh, some of the tips for you to memorize. Remember, science paper, science concept, you have to memorize the keywords in order to understand how to answer section B questions. So a lot of children are always suffering in this uh, section B because they don't know what is the keywords to use, how to answer the questions. So there isn't a lot that you actually need to memorize. It's actually, it's actually very simple. Per science topic, there are certain specific keywords you need in your answer. So let's take a look at what are the keywords over here. So one thing you need to remember is that animals reproduce to ensure the continuation of their species. So we will look at some questions that actually will require you to put in this as an answer. The next one you need to memorize will be that animals reproduce in large quantity in order to ensure a higher chance of maturation since they are highly preyed upon and very vulnerable. Now these two sentences sound very familiar. Okay, the difference is that normal animals, they reproduce, like you and I, to ensure the continuation of our species. We don't have a lot, a lot of offspring at one time. However, if you compare like humans to versus cockroaches, cockroaches are animals that reproduce in large quantity. So the reason for that will be a bit more specific because they really want to ensure a higher chance of maturation. So that's the difference. So another one, the third one, will be some young don't stay with the adults so as not to compete for space and food. So this is one thing you need to memorize as well. Other things you need to understand in the life cycle of animals is that there were two types of life cycle. One whereby the young resemble the adult, which means they look like the adult, they only look a little bit grown and a little bit mature. The other one will be when the young does not resemble the adult. Okay, so what's the difference between these two? The young that resemble adults are usually the two-stage and the three-stage animals. Those young that do not resemble the adult will be the four stage or more animals. So over here we are only looking at two, three and four, nothing more than that. Two stage animals will be when they are they were born live, okay, they be they were young and then they became adults. Animals are example dog, cat, man, pig, cow, lion. Okay, the three stage animal cycle will be they were born as egg first and then they become the young sometimes called the nymph and then they grow on to proceed to become adult who lays egg and the cycle goes again so examples would be hen duck cockroach dragonfly grasshopper crocodile spiders the fourth stage life cycle will be from egg to larva to pupa to adult most commonly, mosquitoes, housefly, butterfly, moth, mealworm, beetle, beetle, and bee. The reason why these animals are lifted, listed here as examples is because they are the common animals that are used in questions in test papers. So these animals are good for you to know. You need to know what are these animals and what is the stages that they go through in their life cycle. Okay. Let's go on. Let's try some questions over here. Graph questions is very, very common in the life cycle uh, topic. So the graph below shows the number of days at each stage in the life cycle of an insect. So they spend about six days as an egg and then they go on to 12 days as a nymph. And the adulthood will be six days for the male and thereafter they die. And then the female will live a little bit longer, about 10 days. So how many stages are there in the life cycle of this insect? So, how many stages? Of course, male, adult, female, adult is a trick question. Some children might get confused. Male and female, they count it as two stages. Of course not. Adult stage, one stage. So, the egg and the nymph and the adult stage, three stages. So, the answer here will be three stages. Suggest a reason why the female lives longer than the male adult. Okay, so this is something, it is actually common. A lot of questions actually ask. Oops, that's lightning. <laughs> Thunder. Why the female lives longer than the male adult? Okay, so the female usually lives longer because the female is the one that actually needs to carry on the reproduction process, which is why the male tend to die younger, not because of diet, not because of uh, lifestyle. <laughs> no, it is not because of that. It is because the female needs to lay the eggs in order for the life cycle to complete. Therefore, that will be the answer for this question. The male, the female, needs to lay eggs in order for the life cycle to be complete. Try another question over here. 
The diagram below shows the life cycles of organisms A and B. Organism A goes through the larva and pupa stage, while organism B goes through the nymph stage. So straight away we know organism A is four stage life cycle, one, two, three, four. Organism B, three stage life cycle. So based on the information given in the diagram above, write down one difference between the life cycles. That will be very simple. Organism A has a three sta four stage life cycle, while B has only three stages. What about the next question? The young and the adult of organism A live in different places. So explain how this would benefit organism A. Okay, remember just now I said there are certain keywords that you need to memorize. So what are the keywords over here? So why do they need to live in different places? It will be exactly this answer, isn't it? So as not to compete for space and food. That will be the answer for B. So this is common question. You need to remember why do adults and the young not stay together? It is because they do not want the adults and the young to compete for space. That is the answer. Okay. The diagram below shows the life cycle of a cockroach and a butterfly. Okay, just let me remove this to show you a bigger screen over here. Okay. So this is a four-stage life cycle. This is a two, three-stage life cycle. This is a life cycle of a cockroach. This is a life cycle of a butterfly. So both on, based on the diagram, state one similarity between the two life cycles. Okay, the only similarity that you can find here is that both begins with egg. If you can see, this one is egg, this is also egg. Okay, so that will be the only answer that you can put over here. If you were to say both has adult stage, I would suggest you not put that because different words are used to represent the adults over here. So one of that is um, the butterfly, they use butterfly, but the cockroach, they use the word adult. The teacher might argue that no, uh, you do not know that it's an adult and uh, we do not want to go into assumptions or we do not want to endanger our marks over here. So if you see the egg and the egg, the similarity, both are eggs. We do not take, we do not do any assumptions over here. Why is it important for cockroaches and butterflies to lay many eggs at the same time? Okay, let's revise again. What did we learn just now? We learned that Animals reproduce in large quantity to ensure a higher chance of maturation since they are highly preyed upon and very vulnerable. So why is it important for cockroaches and butterflies to lay so many eggs at the same time? This will be the exact answer. So instead of the word animals, you will need to change it into butterflies and cockroaches so that you do not you answer directly to the context. Okay, so you can write it this way as well to ensure a higher chance of maturation since they are highly preyed upon and very vulnerable. Okay, so remember, keywords are very important in science. You need to memorize exactly what are the concepts that the teacher is testing. If you see that the question comes from animal life cycle, give the teacher the keywords that they're looking for. Memorize these keywords from each of the topic. There isn't a lot in each topic and answer directly to the question and make sure there is scientific keywords inside. Okay, that will be how you can score for science. I'll see you soon. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can be informed of new videos that's going to be uploaded. See you soon!